here for uh, left shoulder, he was carrying about a 57 pound box or kind of pulling it up, pushing it up the stairs and then it kind of got loose and he tried to grab onto it and he felt some sort of pop in the arm here. When he makes a muscle, he does have a Popeye sign. sign. You want to just try to make a muscle, just compare it to his other side, see how it bulges. Um, put your arms a little closer together, good, okay. So you got this little bulge here, and it looks like he just popped his biceps. He's really got good motion and strength in the shoulder. Um, it's really just to see, uh, just to confirm our clinical suspicion of a uh, biceps tendon tear, proximal biceps tendon tear. So here's our first clip. You can see that groove, but we just don't see tendon. It's just an empty space. Kind of see the sleeve, actually. The corpus ligament on top. We're just seeing the biceps muscle come into play for it. 837. Here's the tendon. Start the form. And here you can see the tendon within the biceps brachii hand muscle. And the muscle itself appears somewhat bunched up and somewhat bulbous in shape. And here you can see part of the biceps breaking muscle long head actually under the pec major tendon as I believe the retracted muscle is actually balling up under the pec major tendon. Turn on it. Right side of the screen is distal. So again we just see empty space where you where you would expect biceps. Here we are we're getting into the long head of the biceps. And here's what I believe to be some of the retracted tendon that is kind of bunched up and forming some refraction shadowing and hyperechoic irregular lines. And you can see kind of this hyperechoic irregular line and maybe some of the bunched up tendon. Let's switch my orientation here. Now you can see that empty zone where you expect the biceps tendon right near the humeral shaft. And again, here's just another view of the empty bicipital groove. Now we're going distal and you can see again some of that irregularity. And here again is this biceps tendon stump with some irregularity and hyperechoic lines with some shadowing underneath it. You could think it's a hematoma, but he didn't have any ecchymosis on his skin. And I believe some of the dark signal is just shadowing from some of the retracted tendon that's causing some refraction shadowing.